we're live. Hey, everybody. It is Sunday night. It is a top the fourth wall plays Pokemon Infinite Fusions. Hope everyone's having a good night tonight and you're watching this instead of the Oscars. You made a very wise decision in doing that. Yeet. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Because unlike the Oscars, this isn't rigged. Exactly. Ah. Consequently, we have on the docket tonight a, a full load. We got Lotus Prince. Good evening. We got Minspy. Hello. I'm always here somehow. We have our Lord and Savior, RN Jesus. Greetings, disciples. And we got Xandru Productions. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Oscars are on, lol. Screw that. And so it is time for our update on how things are going with, with, with the 3D printing. So, as it, I'm assuming you've all followed the, uh, uh, you know, the, the video I put out, ge the general update, as well as, you know, some Twitter updates and whatnot. So, if you're not aware, I've been working on a 3D printed Comicron 1 model, so that instead of it saying custom color Robomats now available on there, you can buy your own Comicron 1 for yourself. So, here's how that is progressing. There are two options before us, one that we are probably going to go with. The first is this. This is a 3D printed Comicron one that is pretty much all printed in one go. You can see I have, I tested, this was testing out the, uh, the uh, forward lance on its own thing. You know, just as anything that just pops in, you should glue it in still regardless. But there's spots for the bottom towers and the two uh, neutron blasters. But otherwise... This is all in one go. Now, the only downside with this is that it takes about 20... So, is it 27? Yeah, 27 hours to print for just the one. But I think, but that's not bad considering until I reduced this down to 75%, this was... It was taking 27 hours just to print uh, one part of, of it. Which brings us to our next thing that I'm working on. The original plan for this was to actually print it in pieces. And have the, all three pieces combined together, which we got right here is the base, pr is, is the bottom portion. The top is, I think, behind me. Yep. Yeah, there. So this, this top portion would fit on top of it and slide in. And then a second bottom portion, which is right here. And this would have the towers on it. So it all would combine together in, like, Megazord style, all into one... Completed model, except for, you know, the extra bells and whistles. Now, here's the problem that we're running into. Because as you can see, hey, this, you know, why am I not just going with this? Because I really want the, the, the print in three pieces thing for faster printing. Because any number of things can go wrong, and it still takes up a lot of PLA to print off one individual one. And less so if I have to create less support. Now, as you can see here, this is the problem I'm running into with this. These are not connecting. There's like, you know, there's a little tiny triangular gap right there that this is supposed to slide into. Now, this is understandable because, hey, they just, you know, you know what's going on in a 3D, in the 3D, in Blender, where things clip together, are, are clipping through each other, they're not going to have exact, uh, uh, you know, oh, you know, fitting together like that, especially because 3D printers, you know, can shrink or expand depending on temperature and everything like that. So what we're trying to do, I'm trying to do tests of readjusting that amount and fitting it into place. Now, in theory, this would work fine. The problem is, it's pro you probably can't see very well on the webcam, but there is still a tiny, tiny, tiny gap that is probably much more noticeable to you in person than on the screen. But I see it, and it's annoying. And I've and that's what I've been doing for the last couple of days, printing new versions of this just to test it out, just to get it inch by inch closer. It takes about an hour to print just this little amount here, and I'm getting very close here, but I'm just, I'm reaching my breaking point here. You can probably tell on this one too how uh, much better on this gap because I like I keep making the modifications. I keep trying to get it closer and closer, and it's just not working. And it was only while I was talking to these fine people right before the stream started that I noticed. Wait a second, is there like a tiny, tiny triangular area right there that is making it so it's not getting flush with the thing? And that's the thing that's been wrong this whole time. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm testing another test print over there right now. 
So we will see if that's the case. I, you know, I'll try to modify that afterwards. But if that's been the case this whole time, I'll be very annoyed. Still, I like I said, I am getting, I'm reaching a breaking point. Popped out there. I'm reaching a breaking point where I'll just print these damn things like this because I, because as I've been saying, I need money. And, and direct rev and of course super chats are helpful I appreciate it especially Nikolai Snowfalls who we'll read in a moment but but merchandise sales DVD sales that's money I get now versus super chats and and ad revenue that I get two months later so I need money for this month so I need to put these out there but of course I want to put out a quality product and even if I do print this off you know like this I still need to make some more modifications to it because I don't know how well you can see on the screen here but right here, uh, it's very jagged. It's not printing out quite correctly. I'm going to camphor that so it's more of a rounded edge. It'll come out better. Uh, some minor printing errors on top. Here, you probably can't see very well, but like this rounded bit right on the edge there is not coming out quite right. I might have to settle for it because it's just the way things are, but I'm going to try my damnedest to get this looking good for all of you people so that you are getting a quality product because I care about... The things I sell to you. If I'm taking your money, I want to provide something enjoyable for you all. Because otherwise, if I'm putting out cheap crap, you guys aren't going to come back for more. Yeah, these prints are dope. These, I'm actually still impressed by how, how the, the this, this came together. I printed it upright like this. And I just needed a good foundational uh, raft for it to, to, to lay on. And it did that. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out, how they look vertically. And yes, there's a ton of support I need to like rip off of this because, of course, so many angles. That's the other thing. There's less support needed if I'm printing in smaller pieces, which means I save on the PLA cost. All right, we got uh, a few super chats now. Yep. So I'll start reading those off, and we'll answer them before mm -hmm. we get to the game. So we'll start with Nikolai Snowfall or Snow Snowfall. Nice Snowtail, as you mentioned. Today, I'm glad to have been able to chill with my friends and continue exposing them to Doctor Who by finally showing them a first Doctor serial, The Dalek Invasion of Earth. Good times were had. Good times were are, are indeed being had, especially if you're watching a classic first Doctor story, and Dalek Invasion of Earth ain't terrible, so good job. Glad mm -hmm. you enjoyed that. T Elite 555, we will get your super chat when we, when we get to it. Breeze Dorling, rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. Yeah, that affected everybody. Even my mom heard about that. Mm. Like... And she doesn't follow anime like that, that. That guy was an icon in multiple different ways across multiple different decades. DBZ is still going. Yeah, I am going to say that we're not going to dwell on it because of, of the rules of real world in the chat. This is a place mm -hmm. of escapist fun. But yes, rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. Like, like, like so much of an impact on the world. And we hey. got the elite uh, reading over at the book club discord chat. SW, so Star Wars, Star Escape Wars. from Valo, a.k.a. Child Anxiety and Trauma. It is early teenagers stuck... Early, okay, early teenagers stuck behind enemy lines, child PTSD, and gay confused feelings. It's fun. As a reminder, if you are on the... If you want to join the Top the Fourth, dis, top the fourth Wall Discord, it's only $1 on my Patreon to gain access to it and the wonderful, wonderful community there. And you can read T Elite 555 talking about Star Wars books in the Book Club Discord chat, the, cha the channel there. And, of course, other wonderful discussions, like, why is Ankara so obsessed with his 3D printing and and Power Rangers-related things? I can understand the 3D print thing, because you get to, like, 3D print your own toys. It's cool. I know. It's awesome. Nikolai Snowtail, context of that last message, a truly terrible Friday night and Saturday morning that caused me to crash out and sleep for 12 hours straight. So, yeah. Well, I'm glad you had a better time than that. And I understand, you know, crashing and sleeping for an absurd amount of time. But with that, let us get to the game. Mega Timmy Tommy, how do you feel about Boy and the Heron's win? Uh, I'm not talking about Oscar stuff because I really do not care about the Oscars, but congratulations to it. Well, I'm sure it's well-deserved. And Danny Fenlon says, Hooray for trial and error. Currently doing that for Bionicle pieces. Best news, I don't need to model them. I can pull files from a Lego model program. Very nice. <laughs> well, well, there is, there is a, I know that there is a big community of, of 3D printers who focus pretty much on Lego uh, Bionicle stuff, like new masks and everything like that, and, and yeah, all power sick. to them for, for, for maintaining that fandom this many years after Bionicle stopped being a thing. Also, Bionicle had a, this one good movie, actually. Hmm. The Mask uh, of the Mask one? 
That's the one I remember liking. All right, now as a reminder, we, after we conquered Sofco, we decided to take our international vacation to the Johto region. Heck yeah. Fortunately, no one has died. Our team remains Bobby, Bonesaw, Silent Hill, Skimono, Sarita, and Angry Bird. And you know what? This vacation has been nice, but I think uh, after a few you know, trainer battles, we will head back over to uh, Saffron. And I, I want to say we already took on Koga. So, yeah, I think it's time for us to take on Sabrina. Oh, this is going to be fun. That uh, reminds me of Twitch herself. Also, that reminds me to probably try getting some extra funds with that exploit thing. Hmm. Indeed, we have the exploit option if we really wanted to. But let's first quick and see. Uh, magic tree stump. We haven't seen that. Uh, have we done it? I, I want to say we did some of the hotel stuff already. Yeah, we need to go to Safari Zone. Oh, yeah, we need to go to Safari Zone and pick back a small souvenir. When facing Sabrina, don't lose. You'll become a doll. Yeah, that would suck. Now since we got the teleporter, yeah. let's tie it out. That Indeed. was a thing that happened. We also now can fly without needing to fly. And in the manga, I think um, I've tried catching a haunter that chose to self-destruct rather than be caught. Ah. That would be that would be issue. No well, at least for me, that was issue number four of uh, the Electric Tales Pikachu. That one was a great one. It inspired me to do something for my storyline, actually, in season two. Nice. Because Ash was like, oh, my God, it's oh, a God. huge haunter. I can't miss this. And haunter was like not having it. Like the. The Can't help but feel a little rejected and would they rather blow up than join you. They pull the chat out. Uh, Clockwork Soul says, I know Koga was the fairy type gym leader for this Nuzlocke, but what about the other gym leaders so far? Uh, I I cannot recall. I honestly thought that, that they had been fully randomized so they didn't have types, but I think when we reset the randomizer, it gave them types. So I suppose we could go around and see what types they were supposed to be or if I just remembered wrong. Where do we get the where do we get that safari zone uh uh in the that, safari zone? Is it in the safari zone? It is. Now oh, we can take a quick detour in there. Just if someone wants to direct me to see where we pick that up. If we fuse two Mew Twos together, do you get a Mew Four? I would say a, a Mew Two Two Two. Or, or, or make a Mew Two X. Either yeah. that or Mu square. Two parentheses. Well, Mu squared is if Mu two equals two. Where did my boyfriend Eric go? No his gifts. Two parentheses. Mu two close parentheses. Just join to see what we might fuse together in naked defiance of God. Oh, we will see. We're going back to Safari Zone real quick to try to pick entrance. up a souvenir. The entrance. The entrance. Oh, pfft. so we we came in here for nothing. And uh, T Elite says, seriously, with Escape from Valo, just from the character reveal descriptions before it came out, I knew this three Jedi younglings would need therapy. Details in the Discord, which they likely won't get. <clears throat> yeah, because the Star Wars universe, like, surprisingly sucks, like, for the people who live in it, just, like, as a general rule. You talk to the guy. There we go. Fusion incense, honey, and a safari souvenir. Good stuff. Are we taking on Sabrina hey, yet? No, we haven't. That's what we're doing today. But hey, first, hey, let's uh, do a hotel trip because, unfortunately, a lot of the hotel stuff we can't do just because of the randomizer. So it's best to just do the ones that we can do. And I discovered another one we can do that, that'll be relatively simple. We just got to collect, collect some Growlithes. There you go. So also, uh, H also, HB Hacka, um, you too many. You too many. I like that. There you go. One safari souvenir. Hey, full restore. Sweet. How many quests do we need before our next thing? That's 14. I know that. That's my secret. Six more people and you give me something good. All right, we need six more quests. Yeah, growls for easy. Two per route. Every route surrounding Saffron. All right, did we do we need to do we go anywhere? Do we catch any? We caught any things? Excuse me, I think we caught stuff in the national park already. Uh, I believe I think we, we did. Yes, I believe we did. We just didn't get anything from the. Indeed, and we should probably train just a little bit. I think we avoided most trainers because we were being paranoid. 
But let's get some uh, levels in before our, our encounter. Oh, there's a, a Pokeball over there, too. No, we already took you on. You want to help me train? Tough luck. I'm practicing my fire breathing. Yeah, let's go get some Pokeballs on the side there. Fight some more trainers. Pidgey Plump. <laughs> that, that is that, a plump of Pidgey. That is, that, that's a, that's a cutie chubby. Aw. Uh, it's Squall. It's a Twister, Twister, Twister. Oh, look, I guess we're going to be turning into a fresh chicken. God, I cannot believe there's going to be a Twister sequel. A Twister sequel, from what I understand, that features no one from the original movie. It's already dick play, on my, in my opinion, then. I mean, to be fair, it's like 30 years later. I don't know if I want to see, like, the whole cast back. It'll, like, it'll be like Independence Day Resurgence. It's like, you, can't, you, you can't get the whole cast back. And, like, at least two of them are... Had long has passed. Well, fair enough, but, but the, was those Twister you even can, that massive care. a blockbuster though to, to warrant a sequel in the future? Like, was anyone really that nostalgic for Twister? Independence Day gets talked video, about I enough. Uh, Independence Day gets talked about enough that I could see people interested in a sequel. I do not know anyone who is like saying, "Oh man, Twister, gotta see the, where that story goes." Yeah. Ever since I was a kid, I've always said, "Why? What? Where's the follow up to this story?" Oh, it's a Voltorb fused with a... With, with a, a lily. lily. That's cool. That run, run, run. Very interesting. I like it. Oh, yeah, Mega Bob. I think Twister is shown to us in school for some reason. I'm reasonably sure that I saw it, like, on the way to a field trip. Like, it was, like, one of the very few times I was on one of those, like... Like more expensive buses that had the the TVs. Maybe it was for camp or something rather than school. Come on, look over but here, Bugcatcher. I'm pretty I sure I move. saw a Twister on the road. Look over here, Bugcatcher. I need you to move out of that spot. Now, for me, when it comes to Twister, I have to move behind him. What's it do? <clears throat> I'm loving that... these color teams. I love, I love especially that because that, that he's hold that it's holding two great balls. That is kind of cool. But yeah, for me, between um, Independence Day and... Come on, do you remember the title? They just said it, Twister. Like, I, I see them both classics to me because I grew up in the 90s, so those were those were my uh, go-to films to watch. Bond I Shark. Barely saw it. I saw Independence Day a whole bunch, but I like I bare, like I I barely have so little memory of Twister because I just barely ever saw it. Also, I like T-Hybrid's comments. Twister's Revenge. Didn't Red Letter Media cover that? Yeah, they did. <laughs> Uh, and it's not about tornadoes. Uh, Connor Harvey says, so Twister 2, Electric Windy Boogaloo. Oh, that's Wait, adorable. Look at look at the E-Pip. That is pretty oh. fantastic. Want a plushie of that now. Oh, wait, does anybody well, happen to know yeah, where the uh, the subtitle Electric Boogaloo actually came from? Like, the name of the movie to Electric Boogaloo? Yeah, it came from... Yes, uh, please. It was that, that one Golan Globus movie I'm trying to remember. Breaking. Yeah, breaking. Breaking. It was about breakdancing and just... Well, not necessarily breakdancing specifically, but it's just about all sorts of, like... It's just a movie about dancing. And it was one of those, like, cliché, like, they're going to take down the youth center if we don't, like, raise the funds and inspire everybody. Exactly. And Crimson's birthday is tomorrow, so happy... Not belated, I don't know, prelated. I'm going to... I'm right, can you do it early, but I'm not. Preemptive. Preemptive, preemptive. Happy preemptive birthday. Very, right, very good. Happy preemptive birthday, a crimson. Yeah, oh, money. Five. Free money. Free money. There's also a, there's also a little way we can go up there. What we got? I wonder if you can break here? that rock. No, but there might hey, be a whole heal. Hit an item. So something I discovered uh, today, thanks to both Small Ant and Alpha Rad doing them. Uh, have you ever, guys ever heard of the Kaizo Iron Mon Challenge? Where you use only one Pokemon, right? Not only just use only one Pokemon, but there's an absurd amount of extra rules. Uh, for instance, uh, let's see, what was one? You can't heal outside of battle, except for Pokemon. So you can't use potions outside of battle. Uh, let's see, what was another one? What are some of the other absurd rules that they included in there? You can only use a Pokemon Center once? Uh, no, you can use Pokemon Centers, but but once you enter a cave, you cannot leave it. 
Oh wow! The only way out is through. Yep. You, you can, and you also cannot re-enter it. You also cannot grind on wild Pokemon. Jeez. Oh, by the way, um, Lewis, uh, Crimson is requesting that I ask you about Death of Stalin. So I'm just going to say, Death of Stalin? That's Death my question. It's Death of Stalin, question mark. Crimson had a bunch of us over to watch Death of Stalin yesterday in celebration of the birthday, and it was a very fun, dark comedy and fun movie. Yeah, I saw the uh, the, the Discord stream. I, I never even heard of it before Crimson had mentioned it a while back. Yeah, good movie. Hmm. Uh, Reaper okay. Productions, Halen okay. Carr, the continuity alarm has gained sentences to become an actual DC character with the name Johnny DC. I will have to look that up. That just sounds like a joke character. It probably is. Uh, it Calling is. Calling him DC is still on the nose. I'm going to post it in the live stream chat. Hmm. Let's see, what was another rule? Another rule was that, oh yeah, all, uh, all trainer and opponent Pokemon have been upped in level by 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 half so like level five is now level anything that was level five is now level eight. Oh, okay oh by the way um linkara like the shadow reaper says if you want that trainer to move leave the root to reset him he gets stuck once he stops there i've tried ah nathan you how do hms work Okay, plus the image of the person they were talking about in the live stream chat. How do HMs work? You are allowed to catch Pokemon for H. Uh, you're allowed to uh, catch Pokemon for HMs. By the way, also r moves are randomized. You're not allowed to use any Pokemon with over 600 base stats. So no legendaries. No legendaries, obviously. Pidgeot trio. Wait, is it Johnny or Joni? Not sure. I hope it's Johnny, because I've, I've seen it as a meme sometimes, where, like, you don't remember the guy's name, so you just call him Johnny, like, the name of the movie. Otherwise, if you do catch another Pokemon... Oh, that's a cute Mime Junior sprite. If you do catch another Pokemon, you have to use it. It is It has become the Pokemon on, on that, 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 that you use. Oh, uh, the infamous Mike Manhattan says, Did you know that three comic book films were nominated for Best Animated Feature? Across the Spider-Verse, Nimona, and Robot Dreams. Also, fun fact that The Stalin is also a comic book movie. I isn't heard like about a... that. I need to actually check that out at some point. I mean, isn't it like a real-life movie that real life might have also had a comic of it? It's it, it, it's it's based off of the real events that happened, but obviously in a more darkly comedic manner. But apparently yeah, like it's, an based, it's, it's, an, uh, it's based off of a comic, though. It's an adaptation. Wow. You, you know what? I you know it actually was kind of fun for a while. Like, it's a little more well known now, but like, Men in Black is a secret Marvel movie. Okay, Kaylee, the Super Chat. Thanks. Yep. Keep escape from Baloom and we say, don't use the name of an extinct child killing cult. Oh, no, yeah, future reference. Yeah, that full on, like, dumbass decision on the part of the story. <clears throat> Hey, the uh, Molek, we don't talk about power here. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tevye's been, I think, uh... I'm not interested been... in power oh, yeah. world. I don't care about power world. I'm not playing power world. Maybe if you lived in Europe, you could play power world, but here it's just going to have to be NTSC world. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> I just realized hey. that you... Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, we got the radio quiz. Let's let's defeat Sabrina first, and then we will deal. Then we'll do the radio quiz. Cause we can spend an entire episode at the radio quiz. Riddle me this, Lane Kara. All right, we did a, bunch, we did a little bit of grinding. We I mean now we got to go to Sabrina's gym, which I think. Uh, look up what what Sabrina's gym should have, at least in terms of levels. Also, while waiting, um, they said remember you can go fishing for more Pokemon. That's right. Did we did we already fish? I don't remember if we did or not. I don't know. I don't remember seeing it on the stream. Or the VOD, hmm. I should say. Baron Send Gear 1008, I'm playing Power right now, it's not bad. I'm sure it is. I'm not interested. It's not Pokemon. Yeah, someone beat us to it in chat. Corey2000 beat us to it, but Linkara is no pal to pal world. I made a thread about this a long time ago, just like, 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 like you know, you know, talking about how, how some, how I think it was like Scott the Waz said something like, 
you know, you know, Pokemon fans can just play Shin Megami Tensei or something like that, like Persona 5 or whatever. It's just like, yeah, but like, it's not Pokemon. I'm not playing Pokemon because it's because it's a you know, monster battler. I'm playing it because it's Pokemon. Because I like uh, Pokemon. Because I've been playing Pokemon since I was a kid. I don't. I don't no. need. It's not like, oh man, I really need to have this. I have this turn-based system where I capture things and make them fight for me. It's because I love Pokemon. <laughs> By the way, uh, here's a, does anybody know the actual tune of We Don't Talk About Bruno? Because whoever does can read the super chat, because I don't, don't know We don't talk about Bruno, no, no. no. Yeah. We don't talk yes. about Bruno. In this case, fans for a video is saying it to We Don't Talk About Pal World. Yeah, no, 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 we don't talk about... Yeah, that, that's the tune. Yeah. That's the so other thing. Really Pal World is also, is, has been manipulating assets, and the main dev is being into AI, so yeah, we don't want we definitely don't want to promote AI art. Also, for the for the record, that um, super chat was from Fan Story Video Studios. And as a reminder, do, I, I'm asking this again: Did we catch things in the water last time? No, we did not. We All right, did not. let's I don't know. let's use a good rod and see if we can catch anything. Ooh, we got a bite. Also, um, Danny Fenlon says, uh, "What should we get? Mix of Zubat and a Rotom. Future Zen Bad Girl. I'll take your word." All right, we got a Metapod. This should not be difficult to catch. It it's shouldn't be the that most difficult it, thing to catch for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard. So, Andrew, you think you can leave now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to stay to, just for the torment. Hey, now. Pardon, now you I hate doing can. this when I'm switching to a great ball. <laughs> That's right. Show it no weakness. How would that do really? worse? His defense is too powerful. What is happening right him. now? Hard Your to tell you. Special move is mine. Oh, no, he has two, right? He has tackle. I, only if he levels up naturally. Ones in the wild only have what they base started with, which in this case is Harden. Oh, no. That means he'll eventually use struggle and take down his kimono. <laughs> He'll try. He's being cut. There we go. Hey, first try. Yeah, he's too hard to catch. Hey, now. That took more Pokeballs than it should have. <laughs> I just love the idea. Oh, I'll, I'll wait till you choose a form. But I, I just love the idea of um, you're trying to do this in real life. You know, it's just sitting there getting more and more like hardened. And you're just throwing balls at it and not picking them up, and it's just sitting there, and this is just really embarrassing. We have a super rod. I don't just think we. I love pokeballs next to it. No, no we only I... have a good rod. We have not gotten the super rod yet. That's liquor in the game. Not even a nibble. Water gem. Hey, at least it, at least it's not an old boot. Pick your grumpy green bean. That really, that really is what it is. <laughs> okay. We could get double metapod. Also, I don't think Poyo counts. Okay, I don't think Poyo counts as a. But like, let's be real here. What we call AI nowadays is just machine learning. It's not the same thing as actually, you know, artificial intelligence. There is nothing intelligent right. about it. It is not sentient in any regard. It's just spitting out things that it that 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 it matches its algorithm. It's yeah, algorithmic I've, I've learning. People, well, I've seen people describe it as like, remember several years ago when some company finally released a hoverboard and it's like, it doesn't fucking hover. Like it's not a hoverboard, but they called it that. Yeah. Like, that's what AI is. Well, it does have one good purpose. Restoration. Current AI is fancy autocorrect. Also to help upscale and basically <laughs> restore some damage like movies and stuff like they can be used to clean up and repair yeah, it's, things. It's legitimate use is there only really like metapod hard. in this water looks like it it what did every bug catcher that tried to evolve a metapod into a butterfree was like this thing's useless it's thrown in the water yeah it's to all of them there's just like an underwater like bunker of metapods no they all float when should we use AI the right way? Uh, they've actually used some useful stuff for it. Uh, has been like uh, identifying cancer cells. 
Ooh, now that like there's that a, sounds... like there is actual medical use for some of this kind of technology. Uh, like originally it was designed as a like I read about this a program that was designed to distinguish different kinds of bread that could be used for that, that was like like yo know, trying to pick out the best ones for a bakery. Like someone looked at that software, it's like, hey, we can use this for medical stuff. Yeah, like categorization. That makes perfect sense. Hmm. Yeah. Are you serious? Is there seriously just metapods in this water? I think there are. Do you think, do you think there would be anything different if you came with a better rod? Oh, I found a good one. That water is meta gaming. How dare you? How dare all of you? Look, we all know that these are just meta peas in a pod. God even, damn it! Even, even oh, though I'm the one person all without these actual mod jokes powers, can I ban them all anyway? All right, all I, 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 I'm going to speed up time because daylight might produce different Pokemon. For all we know, this might be a meta pond. Yeah, I did. I did see that in the chat. That so I'm just gonna. Stuff. I'm just gonna be kicking all of you people. I'll just solo stream this. Danny Fanlin, they found new antibiotics with AI. Yeah, there are. There's. There is use for this technology. It's just they want to use it for creating art. Yeah, the which art is bull crap. One thing I try saying is that, uh, like, I, I teach at a university. And I, I teach essay writing, so I'm giving my students prompts. I'm like, you need to answer this question. When they turn in their papers to me, I don't take credit for having written them, even though I fed them a prompt, you know? That's a really good, good analogy. Well, there be oh, torches and pitchforks at my, uh, at my door. The, right uh, On morning, God, time. Why does it feel like time is still not moving very quickly? Space is uh, warp and time Dio. is It was I, Dio. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping. Daylight come and we wanna go. Oh, okay. Based on the uh, encounter like, table, Metapod replaces yeah. Magikarp here. Eighty-five percent chance is another for fifteen percent chance. Is that both for is that for both the day and night? All right. It's, 4.40 a.m., but it's getting light out now. Maybe something different. Uh, oh. Fan Story Video Studio says, Linkara or anybody, thoughts on the Tron films? Original is great. Yay, an old boot. Uh, original <laughs> is great. Uh, Tron, Tron Legacy was just kind of meh. I haven't seen either, but the concept is brilliant, and shout out to Daft Punk soundtrack for the second movie. Oh yeah, I'll give you that. The soundtrack is still amazing. Another old boot? What the heck? And I will have to agree with Lotus on that one, because I've not seen it, but it does seem interesting. It's been forever since I've seen it. Please not film, be a man of like... please. Hey, Skip Ooh. Loom, which we have Ooh, already caught before. Look at this. Okay, skip, maybe we just skip, leave that Metapod in the... Po in the yeah, I'm inclined to say we're just gonna leave that metapod in there because if there was only one other thing there and it's, and it's skip loom, we've already have a skip loom. Yeah, and we can probably just keep that in case like we need to keep just something else. Yep. I think you caught a meta boot. That, that was still one of my favorite jokes in Futurama, where he catches a boot and then he casts again. Wow, this weighs ten times as much, and then it's like a box that says five pair. That killed me. <laughs> All right, I think we already caught stuff here. Is there any other bodies of water we can try? Check the fountain in the middle. Good, good point. Can we fish in the fountain? Is there any fish in the nope. fountain? Nope. No, you cannot. That would be funny. <laughs> that being said, there's an item in the inside of the fence, so let's find a break in the fence. Oh, yeah, I, I did forget that. Uh, Tron showed up in Kingdom Hearts. I haven't seen many Kingdom Hearts, but I saw Kingdom Hearts 2, and it was so surreal just seeing like a properly proportioned human walking around with like Sora. It, it was just like Mario Odyssey. You're so used to the way he looks, and then you see him next to normally proportioned people, and you're like, "Whoa, wait a minute!" Struggle bug. All right, so let us go and. Well, take... good night, Crimson. Have a good night. Good night, Grim. Night, All right, let's go take on Sabrina and see how well we do there. But on my thoughts on Tron, I will say, like, first time I learned about it was in high school. Where, like, my teacher showed off the film, and I'm like, the film's kind of cool. <laughs> and then, like, uh, learning about, like, the, learning about, like, the, uh, Tron Legacy, I need to rewatch it and get my thoughts on it again, but, like, 
design-wise, it looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, and JP Damon, uh, like Pirates of the Caribbean Lotus, yeah, same thing. You're walking next to Will Turner in Kingdom Hearts, and again, Sora looked human compared to everyone else in the video games, but then you see him next to, like, a real human, and you're like, oh. That reminds me, we can also go to Mr. Psychic and get ourselves a Psychic TM. Didn't you do that already? No, we're doing that now. Oh, I already did, never mind. How did I know that? I'm Psychic. Hey. Oh, you know what? We also have the fighting jo dojo now as well. Oh, yes. There's also an egg over there. We can, we can, we can use Did strength. you catch that this... line? Something about fire and grass, but I couldn't see anything he, can, else. he said fire just can't compete. Fire types just can't compete against grass types. And it's like, can't they particularly compete against grass types? Okay, we don't have, we do not have, we have strength, but but we have to teach to somebody. Well, let's let's see if we anybody in our in the retirement box we can use, so we don't mess up the stats. So we can, let's see if anybody in the retirement box can use strength. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Wait, Mike Manhattan is saying, fun fact: the guy who directed Tron Legacy made the Mad World trailer for Gears of War. That's like one of my favorite trailers, like of all time. Huh. Like maybe Dead, Dead Island might be number one, but the Ge Gears of War is a close second like that impacted me greatly even though i've never followed gears of war and don't care to but that trailer was gold you could probably learn strength bruce leap could probably learn strength yeah anyone who has not seen the uh gears of war mad world trailer like you know all around me familiar yeah but i know that one it oh my god it's so good oh lots of what lots of them can learn strength but in the meantime, we will get rid of tackle and give you strength. You can't oh, you tackle without strength. For Halo... what was... Wait, I'm Mike Manhattan. What was the Starry Night trailer for Halo 3? Was that the one where it was like an epic war scene, but they were all models? Is that Was that the Halo 3 one? I know Halo did that at some point. And I Bird used the strength of friendship to move, both, to move things. All right. So apparently, apparently the... the... Now, what did this guy say? Like, like I think it was he was spoiling what the gym type is. This dude, but they got shut down with spring. Fire types can't be against grass. So, it looks like the fighting dojo is now fire type. That, that's what I'm saying. Fire can't compete against grass. Like, what? <laughs> oh, uh, T-Hybrid asks, did we ever nickname that uh, Ralts Fusion from last stream? I want to say we did. And we got a Pokemon egg that was in the trash. All right, so yeah. apparently this gym is fire but, types. The, the fighting dojo yeah, is fire types. Let's, go, let's so. go get the main team member back. Right, 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 right. And yeah, Clockwork Soul, um, I'm assuming they're just, like, that's the stock line. But this type can't compete with gym type. And just by coincidence, it's like the worst possible combination that makes no sense. Although I will say, combo. if there was a grass type Pokemon that had an ability to like not be hurt by fire type moves, that would be like the most coveted grass type Pokemon anybody would want. Ah, so a grass type with flash fire. Something like that, yes. Yeah, you would need some Actually, sort of fusion yeah. that gives it like some hydro shield or something. Yeah. Ralts was what did Ralts be? Or no, Ralts was fused rock rough. So yeah, we never we never nicknamed this. Or did we? We, we, did, we named it Rocks. No, we no, didn't. we didn't. Because it's got the rock from Rock Rock and the tits from Ralts. Yes. Okay. What do we, you need a nickname for Ralts and Rock Rough? Rocket. Rocket's good. I'll just do Rockets. Oh, the Halo trailer was the one Master Chief got knocked out, got up, ran and jumped into a battle. I'm not sure I remember that one. No, but override Dogana I... Troy. Dogana Troy. I'll go for the. I will go for the. I will go for the Star Trek reference. I like that. We'll hatch the egg later. So uh, I do agree with uh, Clockwork uh, Soul. Uh, I think there's a score, uh, score villain, the Grass Fire Pepper Pokemon. Yeah, oh, there's Billy like a, a funny name. 
Scorvillian, that's the name. My, my apologies. Well, because you, you know the Scoville ratings for hot peppers. These want to be double battles, and I do not like doing double battles. So let's just do this one at a time. Also, um, Classic Watcher says Mega Venusaur has thick fat, which reduces the damage from fire moves. You're trespassing in our fire dojo. Okay. But like, what I'm saying Cintodile, is that. Cintodile, like, uh, that's adorable. Oh my gosh. I want a plushy of it now. I'm afraid of its mouth. It's so happy that it's dead. <laughs> well. Torchal gone. So Torchic and Shell gone. So Fire wow. Dragon, so this will be neutral. That's We're also 17 levels one. higher, so yay. It stuck a little bird head on it. Anyway, bye. Bye. Chimtuff. It's going to need some love, so I'm happy to... Oh, God. So I'm happy that, that it'll just, like, sweep through here. Uh, don't you mean to wave through here with the surf? Hey. Get it. Double edge. I can't remember. Do we have... <laughs> Skimono going to solo this whole dude. Uh, it's a nemesis user. I don't think we should use that because... But I'm trying um... to remember, what is... What is, what is, uh, Bonesaw's ability? Whatever I'm going to uh, I'm I'm give up on it now. But I feel like we gave it the ability that that will make it recoil doesn't hit it. Yeah, let me let me double check that. No, that's come on out. Uh... Yeah, protects the Pokemon from recoil damage. Oh my gosh, what? So we're going to go back and we're going to teach a double edge. That's, that's amazing. I love stuff like that. Not for being overly cautious. 120 damage, no recoil. Hell's yeah. Yeah, like the whole reason it does so much damage is because the catches that it has recoil. Exactly. Gotta love stuff like that. Alright, what do we get rid of? I'm inclined to say assurance just because we I like the, having the ground coverage for stomping tantrum and boomerang. You know what that also means? Even though you should not get to this point, uh, it would theoretically make you immune from your struggle attack as well. Uh, no, struggle usually bypasses that kind of thing. Oh, okay. Stab it to a slim jam! Dig it! <laughs> now, do it. Double edge into a slim jam! Oh, yeah! The heal just in case. And back we go. So you gotta abuse that. What else can it learn? Uh, not that much. We we, we already have a decent move set. We'll probably learn. It'll probably learn earthquake eventually. Uh, will this? Yep, she will see me. So yeah, best to avoid the double battles. What's the name of the? What's the name of the ability? So I can look it up. Rockhead. But we did it. We're good. Octaquill. Even with this, we should still surf and kill it. Oh. Survive just a little bit. Yep, Moonsaw it, gonna snap you like a slim jim! Okay, I just checked. It it a dull light is one affected by the ability, so we're good. I, I accidentally went up, so I think we're gonna go into a double battle here. Uh T Elite says mods, remind me to ask you later for your avatars I can use for the future commentary streams title cards if you're in them. Probably going to need a guest list uh, for each. Golduck, Quillava. And uh, and Fletchender and Cubone. But unfortunately, we can't use. I don't want to use Surf because as, as it'll still be neutral on Bone Saw. But that'll be fine. We will. Let's uh, Psy Beam, Fletch Bone, and then let's give a test drive to to, to Double Edge. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, when that happens. No, and no damage whatsoever. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at the size of this thing, like every time. Bonesaw is ready. Uh, let's Brick Break, Magnema, and then Double oh, Edge, man. Edge, the Fletch Bone. I didn't even notice at first as Kimono was out there. I know, it's hidden behind you how big Bonesaw is. Like, like, just the tail. Like, give me a break. You know, Bone Sauce design sort of looks like Electro one of the Ball. monsters. Okay, we're still good. Yeah, we're... 
Oh, that's three cute. Three minutes. Mag Magnema, Magnegma is good. Look at that. Slugma and 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 Bulbasaur. Mag Cargo. Or Mag Cargo. Mag Cargo and Bulbasaur. It is. Yet the. Yeah, Magsaur. That's it. Not Magnegma. Uh, let's side beam that, and let's double edge this. Ah, double edge is so good. <laughs> Edward. Hey, I'm not that. I'm just big. I'm just big. Boom saw. Oh yeah. I'm going for that but stuff. I um, get you Clark, for three minutes. the longest lasting Pokemon in our party? I'm afraid not. I think Skimono is the longest lasting, uh, like OG Pokemon. We got Bone Saw later. Yep, uh, Skimono and Bobby are our longest lasting. I can't remember what came in first. I want to say that Skimono came in first because we got Skimono and Mount Moon. Yeah, I believe Skimono. I'm not a hundred percent. I'm but curious. Is it say where we got them? Mount Moon. Yep. Yeah. Bob, route two, so we actually might have gotten Bobby first, yeah. I just love that, like, Bone Saw is just like a kaiju, and the description is like something of a clown. What? Professional wrestler is something like a clown. Not even, but like, just like he's just like a Godzilla <laughs> monster. Eh, he's a clown. Okay. Wait. Wait, hold on. Uh, cl a clown? A, a clown wrestler? Doink. Is it possible for Bafo to be a, a pro a pro wrestler? Don't no, he, a pro he's wrestler. a he's a he's an accountant. There's just one other guy okay. here, so Skimono, yeah, just keep it up. I ha I have my own little per I have my own little personal headcanon idea of um of like uh Moarte's greatest fear is like um love and joy and stuff like that, and Bafo's like the perfect embodiment of that or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just throwing, I'm just being silly. I, I do you. know I do know what Marty's true favorite worst enemy is. That's comic code. <laughs> random and, uh, number guy, number Bonesaw guy. has that one thing to say. Cheat codes are still enabled. <laughs> and multiple people were saying the cream of the crop rises to the top. Falcarona and Beedrill. That actually looks pretty good. Also, yeah, they're they're starting okay. to up and level a bit. Ooh. This might get tricky. Never makes them match uh, their health. This thing's yeah. actually doing some. This is a giant damage. floating banana. Hopefully, this will kill it. There we go, good. Oh! <laughs> doing a little good fellas chick in the chat. Pironus, my god. <laughs> Let's uh, heal up real quick with a hyper potion. And then Skimono can take on this and we'll get our and we'll get ourselves a fusion partner for that metapod. Grunt! I am the karate <laughs> master, I am the leader here. <laughs> you wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy! Fwaa! Okay, so if I'm looking at this right, the three Pokemon in the back is probably Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, and This Hitmonchan. is randomized. Yep, but it's randomized, well, yeah, so we have no okay. idea what they are. Well, what I'm saying is, like, that's what they what they were supposed to... Oh! That's pure fire, I guess. Oh, God, this could be bad. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Don't do that. That was pretty intimidating. He ends up putting a bone shot or something, or some tanky. Nice shot. Grunt. Uh, Rapiran. Let me go look. Koichi. Does Koichi have an enemy stand? I hope not. What was it called? It had like multiple forms. I should know I'm switching that. over to Bone Saw just to be on the safe side. Oh, it had Echoes. It was Echoes. I have no okay. idea what that is, but we will see here. Okay, yeah, because the thing is, like, I just Fire realized that some of the fighting the fire types can learn fighting moves. So yeah, probably better to have Bone Saw out for a bit. It's Fire Rock. Yeah, Fire Rock, we're fine. Oh, you're sturdy, huh? That's a shame. That's great! <laughs> that is amazing. Whoops, here's another one. 
it's just like those movies, like where you throw something. Ha! You missed. Oh, did I? Like, like every Captain America throw ever. Yep. Oh, that's Ooh. cool. Lit that's Rona. Let, um, let me go look it up. It's Litwick and 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 Volcarona, so it's gonna be Fire Ghost or Fire Bug, I suppose. Or also Bug Ghost, on, I suppose. Also, Lotus, Which? on your uh, on your comment with the uh, yeah, miss. Ghost Fire. I, I do like uh, Link Car's variation of it, like, yep, I sure did. I sure <laughs> did. I threw that shit before I entered the room. Yeah, I love that line. I do know one name, one one like ending name that you put spear to yourself. Buffett. That a world slope next? Yes, it is. The problem is that Infinite Fusions is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, Hitmon Lee. Hit him on top or hit him on Chan. So it might still give us that, or it's randomized after we pick it. So what do we want to try? What, what, if, if we were to have this choice, what would we get? Also, JP Damon makes a good point. It's Echoes, but I forgot in the dub they call it Reverb to so Dodge Copyright. I'm inclined to go hit him on, on uh, Chan just for all the, if we were going to do this, just for the elemental moves. Will you go with nothing with fists, nothing with kicks, or will you be balanced and be on top? <laughs> we missed the truck. We're not aiming for the truck. <laughs> Anything? I'd probably say... Hit on top is okay. annoying to evolve normally, so that's what I do. Mm -hmm. Always go top. Hit on top is the hardest to get. I prefer Chan. Chan elemental moves. Spin to win. Looks like a lot of people are saying if we were going to get it, we would go for top. I know it's ran I know it's random, but we don't know, so I so I'm an ask so I'm asking like if we were to choose which one would we go for and people are saying hit him on top. Because I do like kickboxing, like you know what do you call it? Alright, uh, majority seems to be going for hit him on top, so So let's see what this actually is. Mimic yes! Oh my oh. gosh, yes! yes! So meta Q. My favorite pizza club. Good choice, cool. chat. Now I gotta wonder what the other two were. I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we'll never know. So that sucks. Oh my gosh, Mimic no, no, don't fused care. with M Mimic Q fused with All right, with now Metapod. like you're excited and chat's flipping out. I know what Mimic Q is, but why is this particularly like a lucky find? Mimic Q is not normally in this game. Oh, okay. If this, if we were going by Fire Red and Leaf Green, then yeah. Mimikyu is a Generation 7 Pokemon. It's got great typing as a Ghost Fairy and just has a really cool ability. Okay. So we just love Mimikyu in general. And now we can hard it. <laughs> Ooh, even has a Cousin Sprite. Indeed. So do we want to fuse this with metapod or do, or do we want to wait for another water route to, to fuse metapod uh can metapod uh, learn another move before you fuse it uh um, no metapod will but metapod will evolve into butterfree as soon as it levels can i All get right. my opinion i i think we should invoke wait to fuse mimic since mimic is a special little one we want to give it the best one we can try and not just a regular metapod True, or, or we got the, or, oh, that's right, we got the hatch egg. The egg, the egg could you can mute, confuse with either one of her at first. By the way, Linkara, um, to further answer my question, like the Shadow Reaper said regarding Mimikyu, you can only get it in one spot, and the event is buggy at best. So apparently, you really lucked out. Oh, nice. Okay, the test seems like it's putting up, pushing on the egg part. So we're gonna try doing the egg. Yeah, let's do the egg. That will determine. That will determine if we and whatever is coming out of the egg will fuse with either Metapod or with uh, Mimikyu, depending on how we're feeling. All right, do we have anything with uh, Flame Body? Because I can't remember if... Uh, I'm pretty sure Silent Hill has Flame Body. Yes, it does. Okay. We don't have also, any incubators, have any, uh, if, I, if I recall correctly. Do you know where we can get the incubators? Uh, I want to say back with the daycare people. I believe so. Yeah, watch it hatch a ditto, Hybrid says. Can you imagine a Mimikyu plus a ditto? Since Tame Smoke is not familiar smile. with it, because they asked about it, uh, Mimikyu is a Pokemon from Gen 7 with a, whose, whose whole deal is they're a ghost Pokemon that wants, that, that, that loves Pikachu's popularity, so it dresses in a bad Pikachu costume to try to, uh, get that same, get the same love. It's about 34 really daycare, which we can get an incubator. And the closest you ever see to its, uh, like, actual form, it's just, like, 
black energy or something. It's like some sort of like you cannot comprehend its true form. Yeah, because ghost types are usually like that. Yeah. All right, let's uh do the incubator. Yeah, Minutes Blue plus Pikachu would be genuinely interesting. The egg is closer to hatching. Going up and down, up and down. Time up manipulation! Down. We're doing some time manipulation. Up and we're going up and down. Up running, and running, down running. On the... running, running, running. I'm just doing this just past the time. Oh, by the way, Linkara, um, Light the Shadow Reaper says you don't need to uh, spend money on the incubators. If you grind points in the quiz for super incubators, then they insta-hatch eggs. I know, and we will probably do the quiz after we do the gym. Because the quiz is a fun thing, and we'll and we'll and we'll see if pe if people can help us out with that. I will allow the chat to. We will try to figure it out for ourselves, but the chat can fit can help us figure out the answers because sometimes the 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 guesses are very are very esoteric. And also the questions sometimes are really really obtuse. Or they'll just purposely misspell something, thinking that they'll that we'll read it properly the first time. Yep. I don't think the quiz is randomized, or else would we be stuck in a pit of doom? Hmm. How close are we to hatching? It'll hatch soon. You know, I'm surprised you're not using Flame Body along with the incubator to go faster. We already did. I did. Oh. I used an incubator. Oh. A super incubator will hatch it immediately. Regular incubators will just, uh, will just uh, raise it up by, by a step. And right now, Silent Hill is Flame Body, so we're using that. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Huh? Oh. What's it gonna All right, be? what do we got? Let's see. Something Let's from, something something from something something for Q, it is Halucha! Ooh, Ooh, very good combo. All right, interesting okay. choice here. This is interesting. Do we want to fuse the Halucha with Metapod or Mimikyu? Because I can see it going either way. Ooh. I well, I can't tell Mimikyu. one thing. The whole Q has a custom sprite and it looks really cute. Hmm. It's fighting fairy. Fighting Maybe. fairy is an is an interesting combo. I don't want to go over there. A lot of love for Halucha with these custom sprites. Halucha. Yeah, we'll Alrighty. Up. Oh. Adam, uh, also Adam. the also, Birdman, Attorney at Law. Also, Mi Mimic Free is also the evolved form, and Bo Butter Q is also cute. But it's Bug Fairy, both both fine with uh, the the Metapod one. And yeah, I think I think I think Fighting Fairy is going to be a more interesting type. So let's fuse Mimic with Halucha. Oh, that's adorable! I can already tell it's going to be cute. I'm curious as to what the, uh, it wouldn't have been Fighting Fairy, but I'm curious what the other form would have looked like. But this looks interesting. <laughs> oh, that's cute. A Hulk Q. It's like a little button eye. It's like it's wearing a little, it's, yeah, it's wearing a little Halucha suit. That should be the case for any Mimikyu fusion that, that like, that it, like, confused with, that, that, that just a suit that's wearing for anything else. Friend! All right, what are we naming this? Ooh, we got another custom sprite here with this. I think this is better. I also think the, the one to the one to the the like color shiny one looks kind of cute. I like that too. But yeah, I'd prefer not to use the uh, the shining sprite, a uh, shiny sprite if we don't have to. Huggles, little buddy, chick you, Dal Dalucha, Huggles, Blind Cuddles, <laughs> Doctor Manhattan, Button Frop, Coraline oh, yeah. has Luca Luke Lucha Q. Lucha way, Q, I, actually, I kind of like that. I, uh, Ray I Mysterio. Do, do, do. Ray Mysterio. Wait, By the way, wait, I, I got. I, oh, I, I actually Ray Mysterio is a surprisingly genius pun. Let me check his stats. Let me check his stats. Give me a second. Ray speed of hell is used. We'll use disguise. Uh, plus defense minus special attack. Neutral nature. Ooh, I was just I gonna one. say, like, I I googled Mimikyu and Pikachu's fusion, and it's actually like 
a work of genius. Uh, famous okay, Dario. But... I got an idea. Hey, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, definitely a, has a high attack. So it's... All right, we'll, we'll just keep it to a neutral nature. Uh, AJ Drekken says, has any of you seen the fan-made EVQs? I have not. I have. Uh, detect, we don't need detect. Detect's a fighting move now, that's interesting. Tackle, we don't need tackle. Oh, Fame Mysterio, that's really good. I like Fame Mysterio. Beanie Baby's another good one. Ooh. But, but I, I will say Ray Mysterio is also good, because Ray means, like, ghost or spirit in Japanese. That's true, but I think we're going to go with Faye Mysterio. Yeah, Faye, because it's fairy. That's even better. Faye, yep. Faye Mysterio. Faye oh. Mysterio. I like that. Metapod, we'll still find a partner for you later. Battle Baby, the Paled Mask Wrestler. That's good stuff. Let's take on Sabrina, which apparently is now a grass gym. What was the gender of the mimic you've used in? Uh, female. Oh, it's... It, I'm going to say it's Bonesaw's little sister. Oh, I like that. Bonesaw's little sister, Faye Mysterio. Not only are they siblings, but they're also tag partners. Nice. Heck yeah. I dig that. I it is I, Now that I have said it, it is canon. <laughs> it has been said... One more time, Logan. Oh, famous Mysterio, you're so cute. Uh, Chaos Star, at this point, Butterfree Fusions aren't that strong. Well, that's a shame. I gotta it's say, just going to be the, the case when you're combining, sometimes when you're combining some Pokemon, they're just they're just not uh, 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 going to hold up just because they're not designed for, for late game stuff. They're designed for early game stuff, and you're supposed to swap out. Yo, oh, Chance Mini! Sabrina's Pokemon use grass power instead of force. You'll have to use good strategies. Your Pokemon can cream before they can even aim a punch. Hey, fresh water. Well, it's time to put some put everyone the fear of Silent Hill into them. Indeedy. Unfortunately, grass. A bone song could probably resist grass with its dragon typing, but I think Angry Bird, Bobby, and Silent Hill are going to be our our, our go tos for this one. Sarita needs a point. Needs a, a proper poison type attack, honestly. Cause right now it's just it's just like double it's just like toxic spikes as its poison coverage. Yeah, Skimono, we have moved out. Skimono is not gonna be that helpful here. Let's see, let's let's check out tight uh, the uh, levels as well. I don't think anything's gonna be higher than level 50, because I know the legendary bird trios are at 50. Uh so I saw and it looks like Sprina's team was like near like the 40s and the 40s and the 45s. Hmm. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah, we Just need to find Sludge Bomb. Out. Is Sludge Bomb a TM that we normally can find out in the wild? Let me go look it up on the wiki. Yeah, Qterra. Oh, Cubone and Terterra, which could be bad because it's ground. So I'm actually... Uh, that wouldn't be... Uh, ground would be better for uh, Bobby as well. Uh, Angry um, Bird is not flying anymore. We could just try to... Yeah, I can tell you, Sludge Bump can be found on Route 15. We are 17 also, levels higher than it. If, we, if it kills us, then that's our own damn fault. Also, I don't know if anybody saw this, but like the Shadow Reaper says, I don't remember if we got the Pokemon in the Copycat Girl's house. So if not, maybe that for Metapod? Oh, there we go. Chico Sparse. That's that's not a custom. And Fedmon asks, have thing. you checked the shops for TMs yet? Uh, we have not, so we can probably check that out. Where did you say that, uh, Sludge Bomb can be found? Route 15. Route 15. Let's double check that real quick here. Wait a second. Poison Fang via Move Reminder. Best point of the... Uh, let's, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll check out both real quick here. Have we tried the money exploit yet? Not yet. I haven't really had a need to. Poison powder. I feel like we went through this and we didn't find it. Yeah, I I don't think we get... Yeah, I, I, Sorry, Poison Fang is not in here, so I don't know if it's something we're supposed to get later on or something. Okay, our star says only Celadon department store would have TMs. Only Celadon department store has TMs. Well... 
Might as well go look. What, where's where's Route 15? Let's find that out real quick here. Uh, da, 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 da. Route 15, Route 14, Seafoam Islands, Route 20, Cycling Road. This is not labeled. Is this Route 15? Million Saffron. Where is Route 15 normally in Pokemon? <laughs> For some reason, some of these routes are not labeled. Route 10. Route 25. Route 16. Okay, this connects uh, Route 14 to Fuchsia City. Uh, although there is water, there is no uh, fish catching table. Uh, no... All right, Route 15 is to the right of Future City. It was over here where, like, the ghost house supposedly is and stuff. Oh, and Clark, the Keyblade Master is asking if we've beaten Koga. You have, right? We did beat Koga. Yes. Also, there's probably a bunch of trainers we forgot to fight. I say forgot to fight. We were just trying to avoid battle for a bit. That's pretty eerie. Yep, your mask oh, yes. and uh, Dino. Poor Fred didn't let him in last night. Ho so, so ho -ho. And Celebi. That's pretty rad. Oh, good. But yeah, that actually looks really cool. Too bad it has to die. Ooh, brave bird. Now, fortunately, oh, fortunately, with all the training, we are we are a bit power leveled and above everything else. But I've heard the Elite Four is pretty bad in this game, so I am not going to be upset about that. So what did I miss? Uh, nothing. We're just we're taking a quick detour to Route 15 to try to get uh, get uh, Sludge Bomb. Ronan Rockman, uh, Bobby uh, may have Poison Jab as learnable too. It won't be. Dab, but it's an option. Indeed, Bobby is on there as an option. It's just I would rather Sorita actually get get a poison move. Ho sell Steeler Rainbows. Yeah, the fusion of Ho and Celebi. Grovy, that's cute. <laughs> Not the Eevee. The it's Eevee so ones tend to, to be pretty uh, adorable. It's an Eevee before they become a Leafeon. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Sign me up. Ra rock slide me. Okay, we're good. Also, uh, Light is saying Sneasel, not Celebi, because I guess it wasn't spelled with a C. Ah. So I'm getting really sick and tired of this thing continually... The problem with Silent Hill being so slow. Babe Clay, uh, rocks fall, nobody dies. Indeed. Stop making us flinch! Ah! Uh. No, it had some ability that prevented it from being burned, apparently. Oh, what?! There Come we on, go. Uh, Mistress Doom might like the uh, Night Tails fusion. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, so there we go. Uh, one there, Sludge Bomb. Says, there you go. One RFPS fan says, would you do a tier list of Power Ranger seasons? Uh, possibly. I, I, I've never done one of those tier list kind of streams before, so that would be fun. Can't be fun. They can't be fun. Wait, have you ever caught any Pokemon in Route 15 before? Uh, I want to say yes, actually. Okay, okay, that's fair. Uh, Sarita, Sludge Bomb. All right, what are we thinking? Crunch, double... I'm thinking double kick. Yeah, it doesn't really cover that yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah, can't burn fire types, ag, ag tails to steel fire. All right, good. Sarita now has a poison move. Nice.
Georgie, come on up, baby girl. All right, we got a poison yeah. move. Let's fly out of here back to Saffron. We're Sludge bob and we're here to make you feel sad and stuff. That's pretty good. See, we'll Overdrive, BF, Megaforce, BE, or FD at kindest. Yeah, yeah. What was the super depressed version? Like, we're here to be corporate and sell out and stuff? I do not know. Where if anyone has a good link for the Discord for Disinfusion? Unfortunately, I do not. I found it by doing Google searches. And I do not remember the teleport puzzle at all, so. You don't want to train up a bit. Sarita could probably use some levels and trying out its new move. Just realize, what is it's actually its special attack stat? The special attack is actually kind of garbage compared to everything else, but not, but not completely awful, so. Pokemon take on the appearance of their trainers. I, I don't know about that. I don't know if, if, if my Pokemon look like me. You look precisely like all six of your Pokemon. Oh, of course, we got wow. a Steel type right away. Actually, it might be—you know—it might be Grass Dark. So let's give it a shot. Nope, it's 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 uh it's Steel. Stop stealing our victories. Nom 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 nom. What does this guy's Pokemon say about him, though? Yeah, that, that thing looked just like him. Well, the first one was Winky, but edgy. Catergrowth, so Caterby and Tangrowth. Oh, okay, I was going to say, I don't know the growth. Ah! Wow. He's a uh, huge man. Let me know when I'm going to open my eyes. Yeah, there you go, it, it, it's, it's dead now. A uh, tier list at the fourth wall. Lewis is atop the fourth wall with the tier list lowering each thing to its respective tier. Great title card idea. Growrith. So something with Growlithe. What's the name of the Pokemon? Growrith. G R O R I T H. Thing about Catagrowth is that he's got doll like eyes. The blackest eyes. The devil's <laughs> eyes. I'll be, I'll be honest, I thought Anorith. this thing was going to be made of nothing but uh, of a uh, Caterpie. Anorith so, and and what would be the G R O? Because it wouldn't be Growlithe, because this is supposed to be a, a grass type gem. Growlithe, Anorith. That's the thing. It can't be Growlithe because it's supposed to be a grass type gem. So Anorith is a bug rock. So what's the grass type? Grovile. Oh. Okay. So Sometimes grass rock, away. grass. Either way, I think Sarina's good the, here. What's the last name of it? We got it. No worry. Wow, bizarre. It's standing we, on the front. We logic it out. Grass bug. I think they changed the the puzzle for this game too. There's a double battle, so we're not gonna do that one. Does our unseen power scare you? I think they actually made that made that made it simpler because they know how annoying the the the, the teleport puzzle is. Munchell me. Delmise is in this. It's just an nice. anchor. Uh, it's Delmise is interesting in that it's not the anchor that's the Pokemon; it's the seaweed on it. Clever. It's a go. It is a ghost grass type normally. So yeah, it's uh, oh, so much lax is gonna be this is gonna be normal ghost or normal grass. Normal grass. Yeah, you just normally see it around the anchor, much like how you see Farfetch always hold its leak. Exactly. Ooh, but it's, well, it's a evolution. It's awesome. Hmm. I'll post it in the live stream chat. Ooh. Uh, Bobby, we're not really for the screen, so you'll forget about that. Unfortunately, you're starting to run low on power points already. I wonder if we should head back. Just heal up. No. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, interesting what they chose to add in from Gen 7 for this. Because I know that I like I know that not the full Gen 7 list is on here. Yet. Yet. So there's a yet in that sentence? Uh, I'll keep Surrey up front. Behold the unseen power of horticulture. <laughs> Seven is Sun Moon, yep. And I like Sun and Moon, and Sun Moon had a really great selection of Pokemon. Okay, put the evolution of that Delmise in. Oh, like good. Me. Now, this is an interesting combo. Sunkern, the weakest Pokemon with Latias. Which, actually, now that I remember, Latias had the stored power, so we might actually want to get out of here. Uh, it's it's Grass be... Psychic. Grass Psychic. So, Silent Hill can handle this. I swear to God, if we lose, if we wipe again to something that is that is part Sunkern, we will know that we're in trouble. Dragon oh Corn. Victory Mask. You huh. mask, you mask, and and Victory Bell is interesting. Hey. Oh well, see ya. Aloha Mo Mola, uh, the totally not love disc uh, evolution. It should have been. It really should have been. All right, we took on the ones. So let's take on the other. Yes, Sarita can handle this. You know the power alone isn't enough. Grow Fable. Oh, Grow Man, there's just no love uh, with Grovile for getting any custom sprites for it. No. What I don't understand is, like, stat-wise, for the, the Trico Evolution, apparently, like, it's stat-wise. Stat it's really good with special attack, but not physical, even though it introduced, to me, the coolest uh, move for a grass Pokemon... Like Leaf Blade, it's so freaking cool. Well, let me ask you. Uh, you said it's you said it's uh, special attack is higher than its uh, normal attack. Yes. The reason for that is because Gen Three still used the old stat things where they, where they didn't have the physical special split. So oh, gra fuck. so all grass type moves were special attacks. <sighs> so that's why it makes sense at that point. At that point, but they never, like... Yeah, they never they adjusted it. No, they did not. All right, I mean, so... Still, I mean, it could still EV train it, but still. Yeah. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had grass powers since I was a child. Yep. I, I first learned to bend spoons my mind with grass. Is she the one who can finally answer the definitive question of our age? Is corn grass? Yeah, she was just yeah. a grass knowledge the whole time. I dislike fighting, draws. but if you wish, I will, I will show you my power. So we're actually fighting Poison Ivy here. All right, four Pokemon, Sarita, Bobby, Silent Hill, and I think Bonesaw is our, is our final one. By the way, you know Linkara, like that that grass video, did you ever see the, the next video that the Rift Tracks guys, the Cinematic Titanic guys released that was made by that same company that's just like about grass, but that's something different? Wait, is there a second grass one? No, but it's about cylinders. Yeah, they, they yeah that company released a few like that. Just just weird ass videos for like arts and crafts for kids. But like yeah. the but but like say but the grass one is probably the weirdest. Yeah, where the kids just wearing a mask and just leering over everybody, just watching and waiting. What am I? Like, I, like I, I was hysterical in the theater. I don't normally make a scene, like, in the movie theater, but, like, put rap, put rap grass into straws. Just do it. That, 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 put grass in straws. Just do it. <laughs> that, oh, my. I was crying. It's classic. It's, it's one of their best. All right. Weeping ring. That's that's hideous. And it has to die. Now, if Serena sweeps this, that would be nice. Polynium. 
So uh, Poliwhirl, um, Poliwrath, and Meganium. So I'll be, yeah, that's with water grass, we got this. Oh, Politoed. Uh, which is pure water, or water grass. So yeah, Sludge Bomb is still just doing it. I could have probably Toxic Spiked this whole thing, but yeah, why take chances? That is a flying move, so we actually Oh, maybe might... now. Oh, maybe you could do the Toxic... Wait, no, Toxic Spike wouldn't work like that. It's not like you can um, just have maybe to switch out. Yeah, I'm trying to decide, should we switch out just because it's going to be... Yeah, let's, let's have Silent Hill. That way, if it hits us, it'll burn. Yes, that that is a good idea. I love this plan. I'm excited to be Lands on a castle. I uh, paralyzed it, but ah, oh, we didn't burn it. Damn. Well, paralyzed. Jokes on you. We're the one of the we're one of the slowest Pokemon in the game, anyway. Ah. There we go. That's right. It's water type too. Actually, this might be bad. Bone saw can handle it. It kicks your sand castle. What a dick. Let's give it some double edge time. Ugh. Boom, done. Yeah, get out of here. Just, just freaking just freaking like decapitated it. That's what you get for trying to swagger. Only we have the swag. Venunape. So uh Venomoth. No, 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 it's actually Venom. Oh no! Well, yeah, yeah. Something on ape, right? Unless there's ven ven venonat. Inferno ape. Venonat. Inferno ape. That would be uh. Well, in oh yeah, in ape. Yeah. Venusaur. Yeah. Venusaur and 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 uh, inferno ape. Inferno ape. Ooh, yeah, that makes sense too. So, so grass, grass fire. fire. Grass fire fighting. I think bone saw can handle this. It's grass fighting. Yep. I want to see this looks. Oh, like. that, that looks good. good. That's Ooh. good. He looks like he does the stick fire twirling over at Luau's. All right, I'm going to go for a bone rang just to see if we can get the special, uh, get the uh, super effective. Oh my goodness, the opposite is also cool. Not very effective, and it did all that, but it was a critical hit, to be fair. All right, we got to kill this thing now, or it's going to set up. There we go. Another crit. It resists ground. Huh. Uh, Vile Plume and Pidgeot. Wildplume Pidgeot would be grass flying, grass normal. Fun. Either way, we got this. <laughs> wow. Hey, guys, I, I, I found Guinan from Star Trek. You know what? Yeah, you did. The samurai hat with the big straw hat. That's not even a samurai hat. It's just, it's just a big-ass hat. And, ooh, and it survived. Oh, Surprising. She's probably going to heal this turn, but... So, you know what? If she's gonna, she's probably gonna heal, so I might as well just, uh, full heal us. Yep. Back Return Halucha Sombrero! <laughs> Pretty sure she used both her potions, so. Alright, don't be paralyzed, don't be paralyzed. There we go! Bone oh, Saw cool. was ready! Bonesaw is one of our MVPs. She's really good. Mm -hmm. Bonesaw is one of the ultimate revengers. The fact that we you... can, the fact that we can know the trainer type, the, the gym types, makes this a lot easier because we can actually plan around it properly. Because uh -huh. I, pr I am pretty sure that when we started this game, uh, the gym types were all random. It was, uh, it was uncertain. But let's go through now because we have the time. Too. Now we have a whole, a whole new avenue of new Pokemon we can catch since we can surf now. Oh, and you know what? That's another that's another rule of the uh, Kaizo Kaizo Ironmon. You can only use the TMs you get from gym battles. Whoa. Oh wow! Which really sucks if your Pokemon does not have great move sets, which are already randomized. Oh, yeah, and Bob Clayman says, given the grass types, it makes sense to have a marsh badge. Hey, see? See, the, randomiza the randomization just fixes everything. So you, you asked if corn is grass, but I gotta ask if spoons are grass. Well, it, it depends if it's a plastic. She, she bent spoons at a young age, and she's always had grass powers. Are spoons grass? Mm. Oh, and, um, it's great now that we have surf. Yeah, T-Hybrid, I should point out that, that, that the... 
that the Kaizu Ironmon Challenge is explicit. It is it is explicit in its rules documentation. This is not fun, and it is not designed to be fun. It is just purely for challenge. Peter Jim, specializing in dragon types. So Brock became oh. dragon. Great, great thing to start off on. <laughs> See what Misty became. That's Mount Moon. So we're just going around. Oh, I thought we were gonna go to places that like you we couldn't surf before, but I guess we're doing. Oh, this. we are, but 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 actually, what we we're gonna do for the rest of the time. Actually, yeah, we can we can go and surf a few places now. But uh, we were gonna go. But but since I'm pretty sure the trainer, uh, the the original gym badges were were not were, were randomized completely. I wanted to see what they knew. Now, especially then, Misty became a rock type trainer. Huh. Well, that rocked my reality. She is a bit of a hardhead. Hmm. Look under the truck by the SSN. Yeah, we can give that a shot. We're gonna be uh, since we're going to Vermilion anyway here to see what uh, what Lieutenant Surge, Surge became. Was. It would be funny if there actually was a Mew. Uh, it does not say what he became. I well, guess we can't find that out. Let's go. Let's go see if we can get to the truck. Don't forget the guy inside tell you. Yeah, there was no sign there. Oh, I was about to say, doesn't the guy inside say? Oh, you know, you're right. I can check that. All right. Uh, I think this just leads directly onto the boat. Yep. Ah, uh, what? So we got so we got to surf off to the side here. It's not letting me go any deep. Oh, there we go. There's a truck. Oh my gosh. Ooh, we, oh, we haven't picked any. I don't Ooh. think we, did we? I don't think we ever got anything in this water, so I think we're getting this pawn yard. That is pretty cool. Got any quick balls? Uh, I think we do, so let's see. Yep, one quick ball. Hey! hybrid for the last time sunkern is corn and sunkern is grass type wait sassy we got a sassy one here Ooh. <laughs> this was making the kill Ooh. motion Ooh, start bringing up a good point uh isn't the surf encounter table uh new anyway it it is technically so so i think that we can yes i think pawn yard we can fuse something else that we find in the water so I think with Surf, we have a whole two, new set of Pokemon we can catch. Indeed. But first, let's see if we can, if there's anything interesting in the truck. This isn't even a... Is this a oh my god, is this supposed to be a cyber truck? What? Because it seems to be so. like a truck. Like a traditional like truck. Man. I, I know what you mean, but I, I don't think so. We got a lava cookie and a miss stone. I tried to grab the stone. I missed. <laughs> I, I Guys? It. Yes. <clears throat> this is very good. Oh, oh my god. This is a crown jewel type thing. Oh, sweet metapod. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. I Lotus, I give you a high five. Well done. <laughs> well done, Lotus. <laughs> yep, Mist will evolve any Pokemon at any level. <laughs> then I push it again, and I missed. And I pushed, and I pushed, and I missed. And then I pushed something, but it wasn't what I was trying to push, so I guess I missed. <laughs> you broke that Honda like E Honda and Street Fighter. What if it doesn't evolve? Then it won't work on them. But if we have, some, but but yeah, basically anything that we want to evolve, we have that capability now. You also get it for completing 15 quests. Indeed, but but quests are much harder for us to do because of the randomization. So yeah, interesting, interesting possibilities. I, I thought you were going to catch another thing in the water. Uh, before ending the stream with the quiz, two important events: sleep in a hotel, get the surfboard just outside Fuchsia South Exit. All right, we'll go do that. 
I feel like the surfboard is less important for for it to have because as a as a move, surf is just so good that 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 it's less you know worried about uh, uh, HM stuff. All right, that match was rock. So yeah, I don't know what Lieutenant Surge became because he just did it. Electricity is sure powerful, but useless against ground type. So what was he still electricity? Looks like it. Interesting. Like a popsicle. Maybe it was a Evolve Mew 2 into Mew 3. Alright, let's go sleep in a hotel real quick. But the surfboard is tubular. You are correct there. Tube? It's a board. Ah, uh, we'll sleep for 12 hours. Oh. Oh. I thought this happened in Crimson City. I didn't know this happened here. What's happening here? Uh, it's an event. This is a Wii. It's hooked up to the TV. So, guys, uh, we're having a we're having ourselves a little dream. Contemporary with the Nintendo Wii. I can't wait to play No More Heroes when it comes out. Palatoon? Oh dear. Happens once you encounter 777 unique Pokemon. Interesting. Oh, oh God, guys, I uh, can't really go up the route here. This is not my beautiful house. <laughs> wow, Buffet. Wow, Buffet. Oh, we is a heart huge. attack. We is huge in fusions, too. Darkrai? Nope, not Darkrai, because this is not a nightmare. Oh, God, if it's if it's Hypno again, I'd be terrified. It's a weird yeah. thing that the, that's in here. That, that, that That's what I will say. Just like, uh, Kieran and Grant did this in their playthrough of uh uh of infinite fusions and it was a we were in the other house <laughs> why do things happen as they do in dreams so it's a weird decision for 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 how you get this but it's it's yeah it's jirachi i'm, I'm sorry what Oh, that's cool. Well, or, or is it, right? Like, what random Pokemon is it going to be? That's right, the randomizer. I don't know if they'll actually give us a Jirachi or not. And in their case, it did not. They didn't have to fight it. It just uh, popped up in their thing, but apparently it's supposed to be a fight. Hello, Vega. What's up? Uh -huh. So, Oak Slab? Hey, Vega. Kind of the Pokeballs on the table. Oh, uh, yeah, I, th I think these are, are uh, we're unable to obtain these. Use Professor Oak's Pokeball. Better not touch it. The, the Master Balls also. Yep. Wishmakers are all about granting dreams. Okay. Metapod and Jirachi. Oh, dear. Interesting, interesting <laughs> idea there. Metapachi. Ah, Linkara, I've been waiting for you. There are three Pokemon waiting for you on the table. Pick one. Ah, sweet. Really? I guess I'll... Uh... Not this one. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll pick this one. Cool. <laughs> Dick move, Professor. Wow. Seems you want to make a decision that is very unfortunate. In this case, I have no choice but to challenge you to a battle. But please pick your strongest fighter. I think Bones. Oh, oh, that's right. We are in a. This could be anything. This could be anything. Damn, we're in a tight spot. Yeah, what a tense way to <laughs> get to the end of the stream. It is general consensus that if your mon faints, this is a dream, it doesn't count, they are meant to lose this match anyway. Okay, you know what? I will oh, accept that. This is, a, this is a dream, so it doesn't count. I agree. I concur. Let's do some Silent Hill since it's a dream. Yeah, it's a dream. Ah. It, it, it's, it's a, it's... Oh, God! Oh, God! That's terrifying. <laughs> It's only level 20, though. That was a terrifying yes. sprite for Entei. Only a Pokeball level added. 20. Just because it's only a Pokeball added just for the fun of it. You know what? Good good call. Let's try that. Oh, well. Well, that shouldn't have happened. Eight. We suddenly have only... We only have 22 health. Well. Are you still lost money? Ah, oh, weak. Dreams are nothing more than wishes, and a wish is just a dream you wish to come true. Farewell, Inkara. But apparently, according to the chat, you still get a Pokemon? Yep, we're still getting Jirachi. Oh, hey, the Wii sprite changed back into, into what it's supposed to be. 
That's clever. Let's have a short nap, guys. This was, uh... Yeah, check out your party. It is a grunty. What happened to Bone Saw? Well... Oh, Where's Bone Saw? So how does this event trigger? Uh, if we encounter 777 unique sprites. Okay. Well done. Oh, we got another egg, too! Wait. Well, damn. Uh, let's see. I think it's just a for something we really want to fuse it with since it's a legendary. No, it's... It, well, well, we got to fuse it with something. Bone saws with the PC. Good. Also, somehow we ended up back in Pallet Town. That's freaky. You slept well. We slept a really long time. All right, let's let's uh, go back to Golden Rock because we're gonna be doing we're gonna do the fusion test we're gonna do the radio test anyway. That is so weird. Oh, you think that's weird? He's probably gonna press yeah. here in the Jota region. We're giving a starter for anyone who has fused forty kinds of Pokemon. Yes, we have. All right. I think we've already picked this before. We slept too long. We slept too long. That's great. I, I, I don't think we're going to get one in particular, but but I feel like we've gotten them all before now. Uh, Fire Tower V says, hi, how was your day today? We already got, we already got the Chikorita uh, fusion. We already have a Cynical fusion and a Totodile fusion. So we just have, would have to get Totodile technically. Oh, yeah, I think Toto is the only one we haven't picked before. But uh, my day was okay, Fire Tower. Thank you. My day was average. Or oh, a mud dip. You know what? Actually, I think we did pick Toto the last time. Oh. It's the same choice as from Selfco. Uh, did we save? We didn't save. I was gonna say I was gonna say let's reset and, and get the Cyndaquil, but no. Oops, I'm sorry. So yeah, all right, we've, we know, you know, we, we've gotten it. We've had, we have had all three of these starters before. All right, so you already got a Trico earlier, right? Yeah, we got a Trico earlier. We got our we had our Mudkip fused with with, with, with Cyndaquil. Is it and you know? So do we want to? So let's hatch this egg. Oh wow, is this a Bulbasaur is that egg? Bulbasaur? Oh, they say Let's you get one more be. chance in the post game. Is oh my a... gosh, Jirachi Giro uh, fused with a Bulbasaur. Bulbachi. Jirachasaur. This is a Bulbasaur egg. I am just like, ah. You still have your incubators. Yeah, Bulbasaur and Jirachi. I'm down for this. All right, they do say Wonder Trade the Mudkip. We could Wonder Trade. We haven't done any Wonder Trading in a while. All right, let's take a look at what this looks like. Uh, Actually, we have incubators, too. Let me uh, use one of those. Oh, Silent Hill's XP is messed up. Oh, God. It's still 22. Oh, oh no. So was that not supposed to happen in the actual uh, fight? Try unfusing it and refusing it. Yeah, good idea. We'll try it. that. We'll try that afterwards. Well, at least I noticed it before he got killed. Yeah, thanks for noticing that. Yeah, so maybe you. there was a glitch then. It wasn't supposed to be reduced for the dream. It's it, hey, this is a fan game. Glitches are bound to happen. Uh. Hopefully, we will not have to retire. Yo, we won't like permanently retire Silent Hill, but like yo, if if we have to stop using him, that would really suck. But yo, at least he doesn't technically die. Yeah. Which means you save yourself from the sailor suit. Mm. Okay, so like, is that for like for next stream? If like if you have a Pokemon die, you have to wear that suit for for another stream or something? Yeah, it's like V. It's like Vega's challenge. Like if if someone dies, I have to wear the sailor suit. So Jirachi mugged us and lowered our Pokemon stats. So, so wishes sometimes truly are nightmares. It's a, it's the Mankey's paw. It, it, it's be careful what you wish for. No, M Mankey works. Yeah, that, I was that... gonna go for primate, but then I stopped to remember. Oh yeah, that's. Oh, it's gonna hatch soon. Okay, good. 
Grass Psychic or Steel Poison? It's an interesting, interesting choice. On these uh, type of eggs. You know, like what should I be Bulbasaur? Look at that. Any beautiful. Oh, yes, it's fusion time. Garanti and Bulbasaur. The two best Pokemon. Mm hmm. First, we need to try defusing. Yeah, let's try. Let, let, let's let's first uh, defuse Silent Hill just to try to fix their stats. Uh, 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 babe, Clay Man. Uh, Vegas Wish, Linkara, and a Sailor Suit. Yeah. Alright, unfuse. Uh, try the super splicers to keep them keep their levels up. Wow, that sprite. That palisand sprite. It doesn't That's, not hard. That's not terrifying. Alright. Also level 60. Hot hot tamales. Indeed. Alright, Fuse back with Mag Cargo. Oh, we, 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 we never checked out their other side. But it'll bring yes. them back to level 61 and actually boost their levels. Yeah, but we'll see about their HP. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the important thing that gets their stats back up to where it's supposed to be. Alright, we had Flame Body. And... I want to say we did Sassy. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, because we don't want to lower our special attack. Uh, combine move sets again. No body slam. No recover. Flamethrower will replace Shore Up with that. I can't remember what our fourth move was. I think it was like Ancient Power. It was Ancient Power, yeah. Yes, continue box operation summary. Okay, yeah, we, we're back up. Ooh, boy. Also, it's goodness, I noticed before he got killed. Yep, thanks for noticing that. And by the way, um, Chaos Star says never use super splicers for unfusing. It doesn't do anything different. You say that, and yet, yet, it, and yet it boosted their level up to 60. In any case, we have an interesting thing on here. We could always just, uh, just fuse two starters together, but no, I think we're I think we're kind of really interested to in seeing where Bulbasaur and Jirachi fuse together here. Ooh, they both have custom sprites. All right, do we, we what do we want to go with? Steel Poison or Grass Psychic? I think either is is good options. And yes, we'll rename I, Silent Hill in a second or two. I cast my vote for Grass Psychic. Yeah, just for how it looks, I'm interested in Grass Psychic. Hmm. Grass Middle Psychic. Uh, well, the middle of the fusion spite is not custom, but the final one is. We got steel or poison coverage. Bulba body looks better in first, but the Jirachi body looks better overall after evolution. Hmm. Looks better for coverage. Grass side sidekick. Steel poison, grass psychic, grass psychic. A lot of people saying grass psychic. And steel poison is pretty rare. Tell you what. We'll uh, fuse them into steel poison, but then we will do the reverser. So we Because uh, I want to see both of these, honestly. Yeah. Also, when you think of it, it sounds cool with the steel poison, but then I stopped to realize, oh, wait, earthquakes a thing. Also, also the, the, the grass second one has 17 more, uh, 10... Oh, look at that. That's so cute. You little sleepy boy. So sleepy Eat boy. Sore. The seed wish. g -Sore can be seen napping in bright sunlight. When it sleeps, a tough crystalline shell envelops the body protected from enemies. Cool. Uh, boost light, effective likely. I think serene grace is going to be better for us. Special defense, minus special attack, or special speed, minus special attack. Sucks that we lose special attack. So I say boost our defenses. You're going to unfuse them anyway, though, right? Yeah, well, we're not going to unfuse them. We're going to reverse them. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Uh, we'll replace Helping Hand with Psychic. All right. Let's use the reverser. This one has so, ten, uh, better stats technically overboard all overall. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh -huh. <laughs> Apparently, people said that the evolutions look a lot better. This is kind of... 
it's kind, all right. Kind of goofy, but but I, I I dig what they're going for with it. But but yeah, just a bit goofy. Tilly, this is not the custom spread that's on the list. Ah, well, um, it looks like we got options here. Oh, this one. I like this one. That's the one. <laughs> that's a good that's, one. That's the one that was on the wiki. You're not, you're yeah, this one. I this one I dig a lot more. I like the effects here, but this is definitely the best. I think. Why does that remind me of a uh, of a uh, pod octopus from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Bulbarachi is said to make wishes come true. There is a seed on its back. By soaking up the sun's rays, the seed grows progressively larger. All right, what do we want to name Bulbarachi? It's using the legendary body. That's why the stats are better. Hmm. I saw the suggestion. Um, star seed. Star seed ain't bad. Bulbastar. The seed has become a hat. Wish sore. Mariachi, bulb maker, wishmaster. Wishmaster ain't Star bad. Starflower? Star Starflower. All right, let's rename Silent Hill, oh, get yeah, him Silent back to his Hill. proper name. Although Silent Hill accidentally did get killed, when he has HP is lowered, I wouldn't think that wouldn't have counted due to okay. being a part of the glitch. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Right? It, yeah, it was just it was just a glitch. All right, and I think I feel like we need to go back and try to pe catch something else in Vermilion Harbor for Pawniard, but we can yeah. fuse Mudkip with with Metapod. Yes, this will be interesting. This is interesting. Okay, which we want do we want to go with? I, I'm I'm leaning towards the left, but I am curious where where what direction the right is going in. I'm very curious about the right. Likewise. And if we don't like the way that one of them looks, we could always just reverse her it. True that. Let's let's take a look here and then we'll reverse it. Yeah, Edward Scales. You called that a glitch? <laughs> yes. That wow. is a weird ass shrimp. <laughs> that is, that it is, is a shrimp. The look of condescension. Oh, it also both of them have all have custom strikes, but one is water flying. At the final evolution, the other one's bug ground at the final evolution. Its shell is as hard as an iron slab. It sleeps by burying itself in soil at the water's edge. Uh, shed skin is better than torrent. Uh, plus attack minus special defense, plus defense minus special attack. I think this will be better. Combined moves that Spud Pod Lured, Water Gun, Rage, Bite, and Scary Face. But it can still harden. And now let's reverse that. Scampy, I like that name. Prince Prawn, Mantis Shrimp. <laughs> that's kind of great. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh dear. Mudbug. The Mud Cocoon Pokemon on land. It can powerfully lift large boulders by planting its four feet and heaving. A Metakip does not move very much because it is preparing its soft. Huh, it's a living. It's a living. I'll go with Scampy. All right, let's go back to Vermilion and surf in the water to pick up uh, something for Pawniard. Why does it look depressed? Because Mudkip is not happy. When is Mudkip ever happy? Mudkip is happy. It's the Metapod side that's not happy. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, multiple people mentioning Droopy Dog. Droopy Dog. The final evolution will be water flying if we ever do involve them. Well, we can reverse always reverse them. it if we choose to. Oh, let's go. Yeah, that uh, one's bug, gonna be bug ground with bug. Bug ground is not a terrible combo, honestly. All right, let's uh, where, let's... also on the trippy, also on the trippy dog thing. Hello, well, in the people. in the oh. final evolution stats, it's seventy-one attack and seventy-one seventy-three spe special attack. Hmm. So wait, that's not not bad. Yep. All right, let's uh, surf in the water some more. Pick oh, up some... you forgot to put everyone back in your party? I just did. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, because they're a little behind. Okay. Yep. All right, we had Pontiard. Who are we going to fuse with Pontiard? Another Pontiard. Your, your meta kip is making chocolate pudding at four in the morning. I've lost control of my life. Yeah, I've lost control of my life. How many of my audience has seen Rugrats to know that reference? I have. No, the, the, the oh, that's around. adorable, Abnat. 
If only it wasn't a fusion. Yeah, more than a fusion. Though. There yeah, are four like, surf encounter the, options. The meme has been spread around at the very least. There are there are a lot of memes that are spread around where like at this point they wouldn't have seen the original material. Oh, some backpacker just standing here. Pokemon trainer brought back a special flute for my travel. Show me the city badge or so to you. Neat. That rock. What's in that rock? Nothing is in that rock. Alright, come on! Something to fuse with Pontiard. Oh, the truck's back. Ooh, I wonder if we can get another one. I doubt we no. can get a second Mizdo. though. That would be that would be breaking it. And that be a bad thing, why? Uh T Hybrid says there's a lemon behind that rock. There's a lemon behind that rock! I remember reading that that, that, that the creators of The Simpsons. Uh, they called that an F you joke, or, or F the audience joke. Because, like, it's all about, it's, like, completely screwing the expectations and the setup with, with that, the lemon-shaped rock. We can try. Okay. Oop. What are we, like, let's try pushing it a different direction. Nope. Against the wheels? How, how strong are you? It's not letting, it's not letting me, uh, uh push it at all. I guess it's a one and done. Normally, we have the tentacle line and goldie lines via surf, so four different encounters here. So, yeah, we should encounter something else than Pontiard. Hopefully, not fusions. Wow. Oh, God, this uh, might have Shadow right. Tag. Ah! Uh. Oh, no. Fortunately, we're like, yo, 50 levels higher than it. Yeah. He said no chance. Come on, give, give us something, something good to fuse with Pontiard. Please, Please give us something. Give me Abra. A bell sprout. Uh, Tealit says, "What do you think of Cerveza Crystal? Are you aware of that?" Um, Cerveza Crystal. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I think it's a horrible butchery of the movies, but because it's twenty years later, it's pretty funny. Yep. Bell sharp. Wow. So, what's the uh, Pontiard? How do you spell it? Uh. P A W N I A R D. <laughs> that's that's quite a sprite. Yeah, that's like the last poor Yorix uh, yep. pose. I think we're gonna go with uh, a classic one here. Just like, you know, this is a. This is more like a proper traditional bell sprout. Alright, so Pontiard and Bell Sprouts. We'll fuse them together. Dark Poison or Grass Seal both only have one weakness. Not bad. Bell Sprout posing for the Bell Pwned. Razor Leaf is not a bad name. Honestly, I kind of like that more and more, but let's fuse and see what we get. If we get anything. Uh, no customs, unfortunately. I wonder if the uh -oh. evolutions get any customs. Nope, they... I just checked. Nothing, no for, nothing for either. Nope. That sucks. Uh, I, mm, if we go with Grass Steel, I'll definitely name it la Razor Leaf. Dark Poison. That would get, get funny depending on the uh, special moves you learn. Like Razor Leaf used Razor Leaf. Hmm. I think Grass Steel is going to produce a better, uh, better sprite. Yeah, it has about 40... 40, 40 more higher total. Hmm. That's, that's decent. That looks like a custom sprite, even though I know it's not. They fight at Bisharp's command. From its mouth, leaks a fluid that melts even iron. Jeez. Uh, Defiant, when stats are lowered, its attack increases. Boost Pokemon Speed and Sunshine, I think, to find we're going to have more. Tautology, use Tautology, I like uh, that. Steve Dossel. The attack, it has a, the attack has a higher, much higher attack. Hmm. Uh, growth, no. Uh, no, we don't need Wrap. Machete is also a good name, but I think I just like, I like Razor Leaf in general for this. 
Who learns Razor Leaf? Like Bulbasaur? Yep, a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of grass types learn Razor Leaf. Okay. Razor Leaf, Especially use Razor Leaf. Yeah, that's right, why we're I ran coming up on the end apologies, here, apologies. so I think we're gonna go try to do the, ta the do the radio quiz, and then we're gonna call it a night. That I was about to mention, we should exercise the radio. Because we've been wanting to do, we've been wanting to do this all stream. Let's go back to Goldenrod City, and we will go do the radio quiz. Iron Lotus is another good one. Bellsprout probably learns it right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Bellsprout learns. Or just uh, name it Lotus Prince. <laughs> Oh, that would be good. <laughs> Damn it! You know, what, you know what's kind of funny is there. There's a, a video game. Um, twenty. It, it was, I forgot if it was twenty XX or thirty XX. It might have been thirty. But there's a plant-based boss that is called Lotus Colon Prince of Leaves or something like that. And someone on my Discord was like, "Did you kickstart to have that in?" I'm like, "No, I swear to God, that's a coincidence." Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most electrifying game show on the airwaves. It's time for the Guess That Fusion Quiz Show! I'm your host, Mary, and today we have Linkara joining us as a first-time contestant. Let's see how they fare in this three rounds game. Without further ado, let the game begin! And now for our first guest, James Sunderland. Oh, God. All right, so... What, which Pokemon is this fusion's body? I am leaning towards Porygon 2. Wow. It's Jigglypuff seen from above! Yeah, just for all of them. It might be well, it might be Porygon 2, yeah. Alright, so we I'm thinking Porygon 2. Yeah, because Beldum is just the arm, right? Beldum, look at the legs. It might be Bel like look up Beldum real quick. Look at the bones! Yeah, Beldum is just an arm. Yeah, Porygon 2 is the only one with that body type. I'm going with Porygon 2. Yo, you're right. Yay. Alright, Fusion's head is going to be trickier. Wow. Not Charizard. Uh, Ivysaur could be Rampardos. It might be Rampardos. I don't think it's Nidoran. Ivysaur would have an op would have an open bulb. Well, actually, a lot of people are saying Ivysaur. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> All right, you know what? Um, I will I will defer to you to, on this one, chat. I don't even know what Rampardos looks like. Oh, it's Ivysaur. Yeah, it's Ivysaur. Oh God! Wow. Not in the world. It's like one of those little. Uh... I mean, I forgot what they're called. Bobbleheads, or yeah, uh, or one of the things from uh uh that po that one Pokemon game with like the with like the toy based things. Yeah, where they made a whole bunch of Pokemon amiibo for it. Mm. All right, what's next? Okay. Wow. Well, Smeargle's definitely in there. I feel like Smeargle's in there, but but yeah, what's the what's the base level here? I want to say Oracorio. What, what do you think the second one is? Uh, what's it called? Smeargle. People saying Pidgey Body. I don't know. It, you're you're probably right, but I'm trying to think. Small feet and wings. Yeah, I think that might be Pidgey. All right, you know. All right, I will once again defer on this. I'm feeling Oracorio though. No, you're right. Wow. Thank goodness. That's a smurgle of anyone, if any of you have ever seen it. Heavily modified Skarmory. <laughs> what is with these, like, weird numbers? Is it based on how long you take to answer the question? Uh, I think it's just... The, the, the points, I think, are determined, like, like how close we are. Because, like, you can still... It's not like the, the thing ends afterwards. Like, I, yeah, I'm not sure. But it's like, yeah, you're correct. 371 points. Like, What? What are we on an episode of Who's Lines anyway? Ooh. Uh, I'm leaning towards Kadabra, but I think Sable. Sable I think it might be, be Sable because it's like, it looks like whatever it is, it's holding something up in front of it. Like the ears kind of make me think of Kadabra. 
But sable eye, but those look like, like sable eye legs. On top of that, if it is sable eye, that's definitely him holding something up. Chad is saying sable eye, so. Yeah, if it was ears, it'd be probably more for the head than for the body. Uh, T Hybrid says there's a magic carp in there. Wow. Yeah, it ain't a magic carp in there. This could be Scolipede, given the given the kind of uh, twistiness. Could be Venipede. I'm inclined to say Scolipede. Yeah, that's definitely Scolipede. That's like the two little pincers at the top yep. of its head. Yep, I think it's Scolipede. Hey! That's pretty cool. And I like... Well done. Perfect score, I assume. Perfect questions, anyway. Indeed. And we can, and now that we, we can exchange those points for prizes, we're probably going to do another one. I don't know if we're going to do it right now, but let's see what we got for our prizes here. Good ethers, little little max little ethers. Little. The linking cord, which allows us to uh, 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 do trade evolutions. The super incubator is what we really want to go for, because the super incubator instant hatching of eggs. Although we've run through a lot of eggs already. Mm -hmm. So we'll save up for now. Uh, do we want to do one more round? One more round. Yeah, complete oh. the five round for the portable. That's right. We can. We, we can. We we can. We don't have to go to the PC anymore. We can just do it anywhere. All right, let's do five round game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most electrifying game show on the airwaves. It's time for the Guess That Fusion Quiz Show. I'm told a lot, but that I have like a voice for radio. Yeah, you do like broadcast radio right effectively. What does PB mean? Uh, poke points. I know you think it's PowerPoints, but it is actually Poke Points, apparently. I'm your host, Mary, and today we have Linkara joining us as a returning contestant. Let's see how they fare in this five rounds game. Without further ado, let the game begin. Again, again. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, Bastiodon, maybe for for but for uh for four legs. I think it's Trico. Like, like Mary, Chikorita, and Bastion all have four legs, but I am leaning towards Bastiodon with the size. Yeah. Because, like, all the other ones seem a little too small. Yeah. Chat's leaning into Bastiodon as well. Hey! Now, what's the head is the trickier part. Uh, Haxorus! Oh, Hax I'm going to say Haxorus yeah, that... because it has an axe tail. Yeah. Unless the chat wants to disagree with me on that. They're definitely saying Hexorus. Yeah. 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 Hey. That's pretty cool. All right. I just noticed it said you've accumulated instead of you've accumulated. I right. wonder what it could be. So here's Hold the pr so here's the problem and why this is tricky here. It might we might think it's Clefairy or Clefable, but it, it might actually be but the Clefairy and Clefable might be the other other body. This seems like it's a trap. All right, due to the size, I would say it's most likely Clefairy, not Clefable, because yeah, everybody Clefable is saying is the Clefairy. bigger one. Yeah, Clefairy is shorter. Yeah. Now watch as it watch as it turns out it's Rose Raider Jigglypuff because there's a f feature we can't tell. I could buy Jigglypuff. Hey. Right. Now of course, what does it fuse with is the problem, which we cannot tell. Ah, uh, okay. I know. Yes, no we should go look it up. It might be a Solosis or Duosian. Duosian. Because it's very, yeah, because it's very curvy. So, it might be that little thing that's inside the jelly. Two people Solosis. are saying Solosis. The RNG is allowed the head to show up with an option for the body. I don't think so. Two are saying Solosis. If it was a wheezing, it would be a double of something. Oh yeah. The other three add stuff to the silhouette. Cat seems pretty divided on this one. But with Solstice is winning, but there's a vote for everything. Curlia for the ears possibility. Solstice would have hands, though. Same with Duosian. No, if it, yeah, because if it were just Curlia for the head, there would be no skirt. Hmm. 
When has the chat been wrong? Good point, but the, but the chat is a bit... It's, like, it's probably Duosian in the shape of a Clefairy. I think it's still, the still, still one. You think it's Duosian? Uh, oh, the... What? I don't think that... Let me look it up again. Solosis? Scolosis, I think. You think it's Solosis? Well, they're falling back on Solosis anyway. All right, well, give it a shot. You know, this is a hard one, so so if we lose it, it's understandable. Hey! All right. All right. Whoa. <laughs> oh. ah! Wow. That's terrifying. It's even got the little swirl in the head. Hmm. All right. Oh, that's Raichu in a Voltorb. That, that's Voltorb and Raichu, if ever I saw it. Good like, I, I don't even need you guys' help. I got this. This is Voltorb and Raichu. <laughs> That's great. I love I love all what the is, Voltorb ones. Just be that. It's just what the a face. smug face on that Raichu. All right. So, Tentacool and something else. Yeah. Maybe Magikarp? Well, certainly Tentacool. All right. So, yeah. If what? Even I can tell. The weird thing on its head. Could be Tyrogue, in my opinion. It's got to be Tyrogue. Yeah, that was that early early too, with Tyrogue, yeah. Chat seems yeah. to agree on Tyrogue. Even before they asked, yeah. All right. Hey. Wow. Oh, You're dear. wrapping up the door. That's because our tents. All right. One more to get us our prize. All right. So, Mr. Mime and Geodude, I think. Yep. Or oh, it could be Mr. Rhyme and Geodude. Good point. I hope it doesn't have it have it both. Still, well, we've won either way. This Mime. Well done. Perfect score. Perfect game. All right. How terrifying is this thing? Ah, oh God, my God. God. It's kind of terrifying. <laughs> Tell me when it's gone. Tell me when it's gone. My eyes. Which ones? So does that count as a Hydra? Was that a Pan's Labyrinth, um, like, wink? It might have been. They like to include memes and references. It, it looked like it didn't have eyes in the Geodude form, but like it was holding up what it could see with. Jesus. Anyway, I'm amazingly Linkara managed to top 5,000 points. They've earned themselves the special prize, the Box Link, which allows us to access the Pokemon box from anywhere. Oh, nice. heck yeah. Well, that's one good way to end it. Indeed. <laughs> Mr. Dude. Mr. Dude. Well, I want to thank you all for for coming out here and some and and and, and watching the stream and the terrifying nature that uh, terrifying creature that is Mr. Dude. Oh, and like the Shadow Reaper says, this unlocks advanced mode. Don't do it. Oh, I've seen advanced mode. That that's tricky. Not impossible, but it's tricky. We might do that next time. But yes, I have saved. I will save again just to be on the safe side. Uh, remember that's to keep an eye out side. for. Uh, Pre-orders and orders for Comicron 1 3D printed uh, things. I'm going to keep trying to make the multi-body things work. If it doesn't work, then fully printed ones like this one, I'll, I'll, and I'll try to do what I can to fix it up so it has the highest qual possible quality for you, the good people who buy these. Otherwise, please support the channel with any kind of purchases you can make, any merch stuff, Robomats, DVDs, etc. Up your Patreon pledge if you want to do that, and then lower it again. That's an option as well. If you want to wait out, out for this, I understand completely. Oh, there's going to be another thing. You don't see it on this one yet because I haven't really designed it yet. But on the bottom here, there's going to be a peg hole that is going to attach to a stand. Because otherwise, you can't really stand it up on its towers. When and what okay. is your next video? The next video is uh, Sonic slash Mega Man Worlds Collide Parts 1 to 4. Uh, I recorded that just before the stream, so I'll get to work on that. Following that, Youngblood Strike File number 4. Beyond that, I want to thank my wonderful guests who assisted us in this terrifying episode of Pokemon Infinite Fusions, Lotus Prince. Yeah, thanks for having me. And I myself will be streaming Sui Code and Tactics tomorrow, and if you're part of my Patreon, Codelka on Wednesday. Minspy. No problem, I'm glad I helped. RNGesus. 
farewell, everyone. And I'll be playing Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance over on my channel. And finally, but not least, Xandru Productions. Y'all have a good night, and uh, permission to do a quick uh, promo for me. Or, Go yeah, right or... ahead. All right, so I'll be uh, I'll be continuing streaming uh, Dragon Quest: Day Journey of the Cursed King uh, tomorrow, 12 p.m. on Twitch. So if you're into that, check it out. All right, so our Youngblood Strike Fall number five. Thank you all once again. Have a good rest of the night. Bye, peoples.